We're back in the kitchen now celebrating all things Pride with some rainbow cookies for you. Chef Shane Smith has stayed with us. Um, the tart is gone. Completely demolished. <laughs> demolished. Getting a cup of tea. There's a, trail, there's a trail of flaky pastry all over the building. The, yeah, the rainbow tart was delicious. Yes, um, really nice. And the gorgeous so custard things. too. Behave. <laughs> but now we've moved on to our rainbow biscuits. Exactly. I think any time that you can get food colouring in into a bit of food here, it's a bit of fun. Yes, we had colourful language in the last segment. Ooh, and we're gonna and we've got colourful biscuits. <laughs> I'm going to tone it down this yeah. time. Yes, we all have to keep behave. It, keep it clean, keep it clean. We keep it clean, I have been known. So, um, tell so us what, what we're chat. going to do, we're going to make a very simple biscuit dough, like almost like a sweet pastry. So what we have in here is um, some butter, room temperature, some caster sugar, um, adding in an egg. And we're just going to incorporate that in. If you want, you can throw in a little bit of vanilla essence, whatever. Again, when you're adding so much colour and stuff, I think already the biscuits are probably best left kind of as plain as you can. They are yeah. sweet. They are sweet again, and then again, they're not something you're having every day. You know what I mean? Even for the rainbow biscuits, you mm. know what I mean? It's not even just for pride. You can have them for kids' parties and mm. stuff like that as well. You know what I mean? They're, they're quite visual and they're fun. I think for kids to make as well. Do you know what I mean? When you're when you're doing that at home, just be careful with the coloring. Coloring like, doesn't add any flavors. That's this is probably a stupid question. It doesn't actually add any flavor, does it? No, no, no. Just it's, it's what the it aesthetics. says on the tin. Yeah, 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 exactly. I tried um, to make a rainbow cake a couple of years ah, ago okay. for one of my little ones, and um, I mean, he, he, we cut into it and he cried. It didn't look like <laughs> it just looked morphed. It morphed into yeah, one yeah. and it looked really <laughs> horrible. Sort of a muck brown colour. Yeah, like when all those colours get together, they do. They tend to um, to go like a brown kind of colour. So I'm interested to see, idea. are you just, you're going to throw we'll the... roll. We're going to roll oh. and layer instead oh. of banging it all in together. Right. So as we have here then, we've just added in our plain flour. Yeah. And again, any kind of pastry like this, put it into the fridge, let it rest. You know, it's just, again... Take a little bit of time with it, you know what I mean? You can even make it the day before. Um, so you basically just bring it all together. Yeah. And then what you're doing is dividing this dough up into six. If you're doing this, this um, biscuits here, or if you're just doing two colours, divide up this one here, six, and then you have your little edible kind of food colour in here. So you only need a tiny little bit of that. So not one. seven colours in the rainbow. There is indeed, but I'm not going to colour all seven today, unfortunately. Um, Sorry, folks. We could get an extension, could we? What are we missing? Where, no, no, we have them all. I'm just going to show... Richard of... No, like here we go again. Dave. <laughs> God damn you, Richard. <laughs> in the vein. I'm in the yeah. one violet. I yeah, get I lost by the time. That goes anyway. together. Yeah. So as you can see here, we just add it a little bit. Yeah, a very small amount is yeah. all you need. And it really it does. It colours it all up. So again, you're better off to get in here with your hands, which I'm not going to do today. I don't want to be the guy going with pink hands for the, for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you can just rub them on my jumper if you want. <laughs> yeah, no one didn't spot it. So you can see here now, yeah. the more you kind of work it, the nice colour you get here. Let that chill down. Wrap it in cling film. And do you have to uh, mix that in so it's it's... The, uh, Completely, yeah, yeah, exactly. Otherwise, it'll have like a kind of a marbled effect on so it. So you're essentially taking uh, the food coloring, you're pouring it in, yeah. um, you're mixing it up, then washing the bowl, doing it again, or obviously exactly, yeah. Bowl. If you have small yeah. containers, exactly, yeah. Okay. And if you're doing it at home with the kids, get a pair of the you know like a packet of disposable yeah. gloves. It just leaves it so much easier. You could do St Patrick's Day you biscuits. Could go indeed. You could do. Help me here. Yeah. Oh, listen, um, I love um, using food colouring, but again, yeah, it's not great at it. Exactly. So what we're doing here, we're going to start and we're layering up each one. It's not expensive either. I mean, you can it's get not, the own... Um, I think you're not to go with liquids for something like this, brand. because the, the liquids will change the consistency of your biscuit and it'll leave it quite soft. So you're better off with a paste. So oh. the paste then will colour actually... Paste. The colour paste, right. you get a, a more of a vibrant colour. And do you get that in specialist cake shops? You can get them. You can order them online. You know, it's yeah. not... Um, this day and age, too most, yeah, they're not yeah. too difficult to find. But I would be kind what of was suggesting this, just, just water. Just water, just yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just layering that one up. So we'll continue. Can on I um, have a quick feel <laughs> of, of my dough? <laughs> yes, <laughs> because um, can I just? Okay, it's very soft. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just totally you smashed that. Sorry, about yeah. so that's, thanks um, for that, Laura. It is. Sorry, no, Back but I'm off. surprised because um, I, I used it. the food, not the paste you're suggesting yeah. before. But this has been sitting out now for a few, probably an hour or two. So that is, I would be probably taking it out of the fridge. Because it was tough to roll and yeah, cut exactly. and work with. Right, we're, so we're up against it here time-wise. Layer all of those up with your colours. Stack colors. them up and you end up so with. So what you have then is your, right. your one here. Chill it down, because when you cut yeah. it, you want basically uh, all yeah, the colours yeah, yeah. to come through. That's your... Okay, okay. That's so it. then cut them down. Cut them in half, completely up to yourself then. They go onto a tray into your preheated oven. Not a hot oven, because you don't want them to brown and lose the colour. The whole yeah, point of it is you want to keep right. the nice things. They go in around 150 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Again, so they'll keep the lovely kind of distinct lines. Again, tip, chill it down. So you're going to, otherwise you're going to have what happened to you. Whole you're going to morph into one kind of colour as you cut it. Disappointed so, children. Exactly, and you don't want to disappoint the kids. And here we are. Yes. Don't they look cool? So again, so cool. Really pretty, really visual again. And, mm. um, and tasty. This, mm. 
Yeah, it's really crumbly. This mm. keeps in the fridge as well, or freezer. If you want to make it an advanced, freeze it, take it mm. out, and then it's... But again, it's, it's a simple Lovely. idea, but it's quite visual. Mm. Thanks so much, Shane. No worries at all. Pleasure having you in this morning. Thanks so much. You can check out Shane's recipe on our website, um, and it's up in your brand spanking new website Here's as well, indeed. so congrats to that. Yes.